Hey guys, Peyton Snabek here again for another upcoming movie video for you guys today. This is upcoming movies number 161. Yes, I am way behind on stuff, I know. Um, and probably half of these ones um, have already been released. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm sorry about uh, me get being behind on stuff. Because um, I got I got a couple, I got, I'm buying a lot of Blu-rays and, um, you know, Black Fridays is Thursday. So, um... I'm going to be buying a lot more movies, so that's why, you know, I'm getting so much movies, you know, because I'm way behind on stuff. I'm trying to get certain things finished, because I know I had them um, long enough and need to get them done and reviewed with. Um, and um, also, too, um, I think either Thursday or Friday, I'm going to be doing my um, Black Friday um, haul for 2018, um, showing, like, all the movies or all the stuff I got for 2018 of Black Friday, so make sure you check that out on this upcoming week. But anyway, guys, let's get started, shall we? And there's some neat stuff that came out, though. Uh, the first one that's coming out is, uh... I'm sorry, let me just... Right, I hope you guys could see me. I'm sorry, I'm sitting on the, on the floor like this. Alright, um, the first one that's coming out is The Evil Dead 2, um... 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray, uh, which, you know, a couple months ago, sorry about that, um, I, I'm trying to get myself situated here, um, yeah, but I, I remember a couple months ago, um, they, um, released the, um, Evil, the first Evil Dead on, the original Evil Dead on, uh, Blu or 4K, and not too long ago, they released, they finally released the unrated director's cut of the remake, um, which is supposed to be a burn on demand, I heard. But yeah. Alright, the next one that's coming out is uh, The 100, the complete fifth season from the Warner Archive collection on Blu ray. I'm just going to go through some of these really fast because, again, I got a lot of stuff to watch and I, I just got a lot of stuff needs to be up and uploaded and just done and over with, especially these kind of videos, you know. All right, the next one is, um, this one, this one came out, I believe, last week, or maybe, maybe this week, I'm not sure. Olf's Frozen Adventure, plus six Disney Tales on Blu-ray, which is, I guess it was like a semi, like, sort of sequel to Frozen, or, I'm not sure what it was. All right, then we got, uh, Unbroken, uh, two film collection on Blu-ray. Next one is Purgatory Road. Which I believe it was, it's like a weird slasher movie coming out the Blu-ray. I don't know. Now this next one here, I reviewed about this one last year. I've re I reviewed um, uh, this season. I didn't review season one because I didn't have cable. And second, it was on a, a channel called Chiller. But season two was actually a Netflix original. So and I don't know if they're going to do a season three or what. And I did like, I I liked season two. I mean, it, I like I liked the atmosphere. I liked, um... You know what took place in the snow and all that stuff. There were some really great kills in there as well. Um, but this was a movie called, uh, or a show called Slasher Guilty Rip, Guilty Party, my fault. Slasher Guilty Party. But that's coming out on Blu-ray from Germany, so I am not sure if we're going to get a second season to come out on Blu-ray or DVD in the U.S. or what. So I remember a couple years ago, um, they released season one from Scream and Shout Factory. Which that one was called the Executioner. I can't really remember what happened with those. What what what, what that one? What both of them were about? I just knew that they were like slasher like TV shows. It was kind of like you know the Scream show, which I really liked. I and by the way, I don't. I know they were supposed to um, air season three, um, back in like April. I don't know what the heck happened. Um, so I, I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, uh, slasher guilty party is coming out the Blu-ray from Germany. So. I might have to get that if it's reaching free. I don't know if it is. So, if you know, we're not going to get it in the U.S. So, all right, the next one that's coming out is Cujo, um, one of my favorite um, Stephen King films. Uh, limit. It's a limited edition media book, digi book, Blu-ray from Germany. Then we got Night Train to Terror, Blu-ray, digi book from Germany. Then we got. Uh, this movie, I, I remember, I think it was like a YouTube sort of thing. I, I, th I forgot what you call it, like Red YouTube. I think that's what it was called. Uh, this is actually the sequel to the movie 
uh, The Thinning. They're doing, they did a movie called The Thinning 2. I kind of want to see it just because a, a certain actress is in it. Because you know how I am when it comes to, like, these Nickelodeon stars, Disney stars. I don't know. I just, I just like watching those movies with them in it. But this one has Peyton Liss in it. Um, but yeah. I've always been a big fan of her. I mean, I first known her from, uh, the Diary of Wimpy Kid films. And then I think, I think she did those first, and then it was Jesse. I think, but I can't remember when, when Jesse, I think it was, like, maybe in 2012, 11, maybe? And then, then I know they did, like, some, and then... I don't think they do the show anymore because they're you no know, because they're getting too old. So, um, what was that called? Bunk, which was like a semi like spin off to Jesse. All right now, this next one, this one's already out now, and the, the only thing I was kind of excited about, the only reason I was ex kind of like a little bit excited about this one was I really wanted to see it in person, you know, because this was a Walmart exclusive, and surprisingly, Walmart has it. And I saw it in my local Walmart, so. I don't, there's no need for me to get it, I don't think, because, I mean, I already have it on Blu-ray. But it, uh, this is the happy birthday to me, uh, Walmart exclusive. It's in one of those retro VHS slipcovers on Blu-ray. This is also from Mill Creek Entertainment, which, if you guys don't know, this was the uh, slasher movie with uh, Melissa Sue Anderson in it, which, you know, she did the, uh, what's that show called? Uh, the Little House on the Prairie. But, yeah, I always... I always really liked it. Like I said, I don't. There's no. I don't think there's any reason for me to get that because I don't. There's no special features on there. I don't think because I I do have the blue. I already do have it on Blu-ray, but it was a double pack that for when it first came to Blu-ray, it was a double pack. And it came with uh, the When a Stranger Calls, the original. That's probably the only reason why I don't really think I need it. I mean, because it, ha it has a cool cover for the standalone Blu-ray version, um, but I mean, I just don't think there's no need to get it because you know, I mean. Because you, you have to get that double pack to get the original When a Stranger Calls, which I know that's not really... Well, I, I never really liked that one. I always really liked the remake better, but, you know, it's it's still cool to have, you know. And I like the... And again, I like the remake. Um, I just have the original just because... I just want to keep it for the original cause just because I have the remake, you know. So that's pretty much why. But yeah, but, but if you got... If you guys go to your local Walmart, if you see that movie, definitely pick it up. Definitely check it out because it is probably like one of the greatest, probably my second favorite like slasher movie in in the eighties because it, it was a really good movie. Um, it was and the fact of that movie is it was actually my mom. My mom told me it was her first uh, VHS movie to get on when you know when she first did the, um, the ordering on like the Amazon stuff when she first got her computer. That was her first movie she told me she ordered so. That's kind of that's kind of a neat fact about you know about this movie as well. All right, the next one that's coming out is uh, Rick and Morty seasons one and two, Walmart exclusive on DVD. Then we got this movie. I I don't know if it's considered that what I'm thinking of, but this movie is called KFC. I don't know if they're thinking about that KFC or what, but this is coming out from Blu-ray from France. All right, then we got the Dark Half. Amazon exclusive, Digibook, Media Book, Blu-ray from Germany. That was my phone, guys. Sorry. Again, that was my phone. Alright. Alright, here we are. Um, now, this next one here. I did recently buy that three-pack of Walmart ad a couple, couple months ago. Um, I just wanted to see what they were, you know. They were worth watching. They really weren't. They, I don't know. They were just so ridiculous, ridiculously cheesy-ish bad um especially the third one i mean this was, this was called robert and the toy maker this is the uncut version blu-ray from germany and, and i i know there's four robert movies i have the first three but i don't have this for, fourth one but i'm i'm assuming that's just going to be just as bad as the first three i don't know they're just i don't know they're just not the robert doll is not even that scary really in my opinion he's not, really not that creepy i mean chucky's creepy and, um, the doll movies are kind of, like, a little bit better than, you know, that kind of crap is, uh, probably some of the Puppet Master movies. I like the new, I kind of like the new Puppet Master movie. I, I liked how it went so gory and s such extreme death scenes in it. I, I like that. Alright, the next one that's coming out is, uh, Pin Cushion, Blu-ray from Germany. Then we got See No Evil 2 on Blu-ray 3D from Germany. And we got The House That Dripped Blood, Digibook, 
collector's edition Blu-ray from France. The Night Train uncut Blu-ray from Germany. Like I said, I'm going through this really fast, so... Um, Alright. Night Train. Okay, The Midnight Man Blu-ray from Germany. Patient 7 Blu-ray from Germany. American Graffiti Retro VHS Slipcover on Blu-ray. I've got Mamma Mia 2 Movie Collection on Blu-ray and Mamma Mia here we go again. Uh, Walmart exclusive with soundtrack sampler on Blu-ray. We got Harry Potter 8 Film Collection Steelbook 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. All right, now this next one that's coming out. We got a couple of Warner Archives coming out. Uh, we got uh, Tarzan's Greatest Adventures Warner Archive Collection on Blu-ray. We got Longmire: The Complete Six and Final Season on Blu-ray. The, from the Warner Archive Collection on Blu-ray. And The Thing from Another World, which I believe that's the original, like, thing. Like, you know, the... Because, you know, I think that was, like, uh, sort of like the original for the uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Yeah, The Thing from Another World, Warner Archive Collection on Blu-ray. The next one that's coming out is uh, Smallfoot, Blu-ray 3D. Then we got... Hotel Transylvania 3 movie collection. And we got Back to the Future Trilogy, Steelbook Limited Edition on Blu-ray. The Mummy Ultimate Collection, Steelbook on Blu-ray. Christopher Robin, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Which, you know, I recently bought the Blu-ray um, of that, and I, I really loved it. Equalizer 2, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Now, this next one here... Now, um, I'm, I'm kind of pretty excited to see this one, um, and, um, I saw, I saw, like, uh, the cover, poster cover art of it. It looks like it could be pretty neat for a remake. This is a, this is the Child's Play remake, and this is going to come out on June 21st, 2019, so I'm kind of excited. In a way, I have some semi-feelings about that, because, first of all, I mean, I, I love the Chucky movies. I always kind of like the Chucky movies. I was really excited seeing the Call of the Chucky. I know that one did not really do any good. I kind of liked it, probably because they brought back Chucky once again. And made him scary once again. You know, brought back Bar Andy Barkley, Tiffany Valentine once again, you know. Um, you know, after, you know, with those new movies, I... Now I kind of wish that they could do, like, more sequels. I really wish that I can see, like, a sequel to, uh, Cult of Chucky. But I heard they said that that's going to be the final one. I know they had these, all these kind of, like, ideas that they were going to do next. Some of the ideas were pretty decent, so it's a shame that they're not going to do that. I know for a while that they were talking about doing, uh, Chucky in Space, which they were bringing back the Glenn, Glenda doll from Seed of Chucky. They were going to bring back the Tiffany doll, of course, um... I didn't know why. I might... I'll get it. Just because it's Chucky, you know. Just because I have all the movies. Um, yeah, but the Child's Play remake, I looked I looked it up. It, it looks like it could be pretty good. Um, I'm going to go see it in theaters when it comes to theaters. Um, it's got some decent characters in it, it looks like. And I'm wondering, too, who is... Who's going to be the voice actor for, the, for Chucky? Because, you know, I... You know, if they, if I was gonna do, if I was gonna make a Chucky remake, I would, I would use the original voice, the original Chucky actor, which was Brad Dorf. I, I would use him because you can't top him off. There's no one. I can't think of anyone else who could do, ex, who could be exactly like Chucky because he, he is the number one. You can't redo that, you know, because it's the original. Of course, he's the original. See, like if they're like that's that's just my opinion. If you're gonna remake this movie. Please bring him back to do the voice because I, I again I don't I don't know who else could do it I don't know but we'll just have to see finger fingers crossed that this is gonna be good all right the next one that's well this one I saw on Instagram this is the Puppet Master and I was talking about this one earlier Puppet Master the Littlest Reach on VHS this next one that's coming out it's called Porno Holocaust on Blu-ray then we got Grindhouse Steelbook. Collector's Edition on Blu-ray. And we got Murder in Harbor Woods on Blu-ray. Murder Before Dark on Blu-ray. Murder After Dark on Blu-ray. Forest Creek on Blu-ray. 
this next one that's out in Walmart. Uh, it's a, the Nickelodeon Movies Collection, which is the, uh, what do you call it? Um, brain fart. I'm sorry. I, I can't remember what the hell you call it. Live action. That's what I'm thinking of. Like the live action old school. Well, one of them is kind of semi-new. The, but the others, I think they're uh, old school ones. Like um, Harriet the Spy, Good Burger, Clock Stoppers, Snowy Day, and Fun Size. I, I heard of all of these except for Clock Stoppers. That's not familiar to me. I, I've, I, ha I have seen Good Burger. I saw it in school a long time ago. I've heard of Harriet the Spy. I heard of Snow Day, and I do have a fun size on Blu-ray. Alright, the other ones we got, right, the next one that's coming out is we got Paranormal Highway, we got Black Creek, the Evil Bong Box Set, Night Shift. This next one that's coming on, I it's an all-new series on ID called uh, Blood Runs Cold. Then we got Cannibal Holocaust, the horror pack exclusive on Blu-ray. And this last one, it's come, well, this one's out. Um, and same thing with the, like I said, all these are going to, most of these are going to probably be ones that are already out. Because, guess, was like I said, I am way behind on shit. So, bear with me. I'm sorry. Um, but this last one that is already out, I believe, from Arrow Video on Blu-ray. But it's a movie called Schlock. Um, but that is it for upcoming movies number 161. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I know um, I am all prepared for um, upcoming movies number 162. So stay tuned for that. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Pro I'll probably do that tomorrow night. So just, like, I said, like I said, just bear with me. I'm I'm, I'm way behind on stuff. I'm, I'm trying my best to get everything done in time. So um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.